All right, welcome everybody to round one. Let's tell the players that they are good to begin. And let's get started here. Okay, what do you think of this? It looks like system is on the play here. What do we think of this keep? Uh, I think, I don't know. I, I think I probably would have not kept this in this particular matchup. There's a lot of cheap uh, units in systems deck and although he does have access to a lot of colors here uh, if i i believe it's all the colors even i personally would have been looking for something that pressures the opponent a bit faster because they are on a on an otk combo deck so yeah i, I think i would have not kept this but they do have a, a good setup for their triumphant stranger which is the cornerstone of their deck so i can sort of understand um why they did go for the keep here. All right. And looking at the other side, it looks like I am straight took a mulligan and they're going to keep a hand of four factions, a seek power and a reflection. That's not a great one. It, it does get the, the reflection gets him deeper, I suppose. But <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's not what you want to see. <laughs> yeah, I guess, uh, I guess when you're the combo deck, you, you're just trying to, you're just trying to dig and try to find your pieces. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Yeah, you just need to hope here that he's not allowing System to draw a lot of his cheap units, which unfortunately, I mean, we see here coming out, he's going to curve out pretty nicely, actually, into the into the five Doc Stranger if he draws another power somewhere along the line. Oh, wait, and I just... Oh, I'm straight. Did just draw one of his first flames? Yeah, he did. <laughs> So yeah, that that is also definitely not what you want to see here. I guess you can put it back into the deck with the strategize, but that's true. No, no combo pieces for him yet. System drawing a Felm painting off the top too. I love to see Verrett back in play again. It's been a while since Verrett was. <laughs> it was good when it first came out, and then I feel like it disappeared. So it's nice to see that sweet card get some play. Also a Kairos in the hand as well for I'm Straight. So drawing the wrong oh, pieces. That is, rough. <laughs> that is so rough right here. But like you said, able to put those back. Thank thankfully for that strategize, putting that Kairos back. And he also oh, and he found the wrong market access as well. But there's the torch though, so at least he can deal with uh, with some of the aggression coming out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a key torch there for sure. Our stranger the draw off of that reflection for system. We hunt as a pack. Hey, Cal Shadowstep, thank you so much for the sub. Uh, Stormguard, thank you for that gifted sub. We really appreciate it. Uh, paying it forward with the gifted sub they got from Backstrom. Nice. <laughs> well done, Stormguard. Thanks for passing along that sub. Welcome, everybody. And welcome, everybody, from John K. Kez's stream. We really appreciate that raid. Thank you for joining us here. Ooh, Disfigure, that's a good answer to that. Go to there. Oh, but a Blazing Salvo in response. Okay. But at least this means I don't have the Blazing Salvo for the Makar Stranger, in, which is good for Sistiam. It puts down some pressure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, there's the... I'm straight. Looks like he's sort of getting there. This Oh, that was a very yeah, big good draw. draw. Actually, I was just yeah. about to say he needs to draw a merchant right here. And, yeah. Well, <laughs> there you go, I guess. Yeah, had the reweave. That was about the perfect draw there, getting able to go get that merchant and then reweave with get the eccentric officer and have that reweave too. And that was nice. Yeah, I was just about to say that if they didn't draw at least the merchant here, they probably would be starting to fall behind a bit. And well, I mean, <laughs> I, I guess we can see the future. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and here's unfortunate. Playing five faction requires some depleted power. And there you go. Depleted power not allowing system to deploy out that triumphant stranger last turn. Going to deploy it this turn, but last turn was sort of the really nice moment to be able to do it. But it's all right. We're going to yeah. be here. Uh, this card recently got changed. Remember, it used to be, I believe, at the start of your next turn. But now at the end of your turn, so you kind of get it right off the bat. And that was a nice hit off of it. Plus three, plus three. Uh, the only problem is I don't know if system has enough pressure. If I'm straight, able to actually combo yeah. off. They just might win. Uh, was, uh, way I'm looking at it is I'm straight's one next turn. He is yeah. Rujin choosing one of his uh, one of his key pieces to the top now. There you go, and there's the there's Kairos. There's a reweave. Yeah, and like the key thing here as well is even if the Makar Stranger had been played last turn, which is I think maybe what 
I would have done. I'm not entirely sure on that one yet, but yeah. even if you play out the Makar Stranger, you can't interact with this reweaved Kairos. <laughs> it's so, shifted. <laughs> yeah, it's so insane. All right, Kodos Stranger going to hit the board. Top unit of their deck gets plus X plus X. Double it. So attacking in, but the damage might be yeah, done. We'll see bit. if they can survive this turn. There's a one cost first flame in I'm Straight's hand. Just going to come down and uh, end the game on the spot. Be it. There we go. First flame coming down. That's going to do damage. They're going to create a 5-5. Five, five. Let's do five more damage. Create a couple of three ones. Oof. Yep. Clean, clean the... Clean away. <laughs> and there we go. I am straight. Comboing off there. Turn six, I think. Close to it. Turn six. Uh, I believe so, yeah. Because Sistium yeah. played a power every turn, so that's uh, that's a turn six. After yeah. mulliganing to a rough hand of six there. <laughs> well done. Yeah, that I was, guess that's, that's what combo decks can do. Into the region's choice. Yeah. Oh my, that was uh, that was some luck off the top there. <laughs> it was. You gotta, gotta. I guess that's one advantage of playing combo decks, though, is all you really need is like one turn. <laughs> you just gotta get the one exactly, draw, and yeah. you can do it. Not like you need to grind it out over the long way, but nice there. And having the hindsight of if that if that merchant came one turn later, I'm straight would have been overrun by that high roll off of the triumphant stranger. Yeah, absolutely. It's an interesting matchup though. I I feel like if strangers gets the right draw, they can overwhelm too quickly For sure, but yeah. i don't know if you get the right combo draw it's an interesting matchup because it really just feels like it's about how fast can system get their strangers online versus just how fast can i'm straight combo off i think yeah i think there's a couple ways you can tackle it actually because you can you can go the way of like maybe looking for a strange broker in the opening hand which is very rng reliant <laughs> but you can try and, and and just get rid of the uh the combo pieces as much as you can Alternatively, maybe like curving a Varret into a Kodosh Stranger to start like ramping up the damage from turn three. Uh, I mean, we saw there as well that the um, the Strange Ally was incredibly good as well as shutting down the Tota Pioneer. Yeah, I, th I think there's a couple of different ways that uh, System can tackle this, but I think I think they really shouldn't have kept that uh, that opening hand there. Yeah, we'll see if he uh, if he changes it up next next game. All right, looks like our players are ready now. So let's head down to the action for game two. All right, system mulliganing aggressively on that first one. We're keeping here, Ooh, looks one. like four power, strange broker, bereaved stranger, and soaring stranger. Yeah, I like this hand a lot more. I, I mean, I just mentioned the strange broker tactic of trying to maybe uh, make sure that anything that system does or sorry sorry that i'm straight does uh, is is at least halted a bit plus the strange broker actually makes rujin's choice uh un like just like unplayable until you can draw the card in the same turn mm -hmm. looks like i'm straight is on the play as well they're gonna well i think they're gonna mulligan here blazing salvo just a fire sigil one one power with a fire sigil, but they got a blazing salvo, a seek power, smuggler, two cliffside porters, and a first flame. I imagine that's got to be a mulligan. Yep, they're gonna toss it back and see Huru vow double fire sigil, Rujin's choice, smuggler, seek power, first flame. It's probably. Hey, hey Brackalack, and thank you so much for the sub. The only heads up play I could make. I like that. <laughs> I love putting the emote in the in the subscription message. Thank you so much for the sub for three months. Thank you for that three month sub. With Amazon Prime, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support in the stream. We learned Imitator. That's a good one off the top. But unlike Kilo, we're going to have to try to hard cast that off of <laughs> four, no, five primal influence. There are four primal symbols in the deck for exactly that reason. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if he can make it. Rudin's choice going yeah, to move straight is... to the top. That's going to be a Rhyme Conclave Smuggler. So two smugglers here now for I Am Straight. They're going to go get that Eccentric Officer. Here you go. Turn four Eccentric Officer. Yeah, at, at this point, it, it didn't even matter that he had these combo pieces in hand. Uh, this is why you have multiple in the deck. It's yeah. Simple as that. You just market them away, get what you need. 
It is slightly unfortunate that they had to use the Rujin's choice to get another merchant, because that means he now needs to find a way to get both of his combo pieces out. But fortunately, actually, he did get to use the Rujin's choice before the Strange Broker came down. So that completely nullified him or Assistium being able to uh, to take out the card that they tutored for. All right, here comes that reweave. Wow, just too fast. <laughs> Unreal how quick this combo was here. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and he nine, still needs to the get nine cost game. transpose. You gotta love that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, he, he still needs to find the first flame, so That's system true. has some breathing room. Yeah, hasn't hasn't really found anything else. Yeah, we've got the eccentric officer online, we've got the Kairos in play. Now now he's gotta find the second piece there. Gotta find something to do with it all. I think if I'm Sysgem here, I just try and like plop down the Searing Stranger, get some Get some damage going in. Mm -hmm. Mill some cards. Because next turn he can play the five. Oh, he's going for the reunite actually. Reunite and grab that trap. Stranger can play that out next turn. I mean, I guess if you're confident that. There's no way he has a combo piece or any way to draw into the combo piece in hand. Then, oh wait, of course. What am I thinking? With... The yeah, I, I totally missed that because of the plus, plus, the little known effect of plus six maximum power means yeah. that I'm straight can just hard cast the eleven cost first flame. So, who needs the eccentric officer? You could just do it for full, yep. full cost. Wow. All right, I'm straight gonna take that one two 